Uh, first of all, I'd like to um, congratulate Fort Hayes State on a, on a hard-fought victory, um, and I wish them well as they uh, pursue a championship. Um, they certainly are a quality team. I'd like to thank Fort Hayes for all their work for the regional, so thank you, everybody. Um, uh, our group, uh, super proud of them. Uh, young basketball team. It's emotional because because I lose a very sp special senior and Jackie Volkert. It's always emotional for me. I think as I've gotten older, it gets worse. So I'll regroup here in a second. But uh, super proud of our effort. Uh, you know, we've had a, a terrific year, um, just a lot of achievements this year by this group. Conference title, we lost in the conference championship, which we'll get back there. Um, winning uh, our, our first round playoff here at in the regional, we hadn't won one since 2009. Very emotional for me because... You know, uh, my, myself, my staff work very hard, and you put a lot of time and energy into your season, and I think as you get older, you appreciate these moments more, and you know they're not going to come often. So, okay, I got it. All right. So anyway, just like I said, super proud, uh, and these two young ladies... Uh, one is leaving and one is going to fill her shoes. And I couldn't be more happy for Jackie, and I look forward to what Natalie can bring to our program. That's pretty much my sob story. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Questions? So, Jackie, you finished your career as the winningest dragon in program history. Can you just speak to what being a dragon meant to you? Um, freshman year, I guess, I just didn't really know what to expect. I came in and I'm like, yeah, I'll go to games. I have school pride. I mean, I'll show up at football games. Um, we have a Dragon Friday every Friday, so you have to wear red. Um, so just participating in things like that at the beginning and then slowly you get older and you um, get more responsibilities. Um, people look up to you. You have people reaching out to you over social media and you realize how much of an effect you have on people and your community. And um, Personally, I take a lot of pride in that, and I'd like to thank my parents just because of the way they raised me and the way um, they've always treated me and my sister and my brother, um, and they've taught us how to treat other people. So, I mean, being a dragon means everything right now, and these last few weeks I've realized it's more than just a game, and I'm so thankful for the opportunities that I've had through basketball. Jackie, obviously you got off to a really good start. What was kind of the key to that? And obviously, did you feel like you were kind of in a zone tonight early? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, in the locker room, actually, of last last night's game, there was a quote that said, how hard would you play if today was your last day or if you knew there was no tomorrow? And that just kind of hit me. And, I mean, it was my last game. I mean, I didn't expect that at the beginning, but – um, I hope I was hoping it wasn't, but I mean, just going for it, no regrets, um, nothing to fear. It's just kind of how I was going, going at it. And Natalie, what was the atmosphere like, and do you think it could kind of be beneficial for you to experience this moving forward? This kind of atmosphere? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's definitely different than our own place a little bit, but um, I think getting in the atmosphere here and in the playoffs. Um, time for everyone on our team. It makes us um, realize how like fortunate we are to keep playing, and um, like makes us ready for next year. We can know what to expect if we get this far. Not to be nervous. We know the setting, and just to be comfortable in what we're playing for, and not to be nervous at all. Uh, coach, they got up up to fourteen, and then you spiced it down to seven right away. Were you just pretty, you know, proud of the of the fight there? And did you feel? Yeah, you know, I thought, uh, you know, we, we showed good grit there. 
um, hit some big shots. I think Megan hit, hit uh, Megan Hintz hit a big shot or a couple had scored a few points in a row there, which was nice to see. And then, um, you know, I just thought there was just no quit. So, which I would expect from this group. Um, you know, this is a tough team. It's a great environment to play in. Um, but I would have liked a few more Dragon fans. There's no doubt. But uh, you know, uh, just a really tough place to play. And you know, they've got experience. You know, they got a lot of you know juniors that have played in this game before. I don't. I don't think we have that many. So uh, just to see our fight and our resiliency was, was what I w would expect. And what did you feel like the challenges were in defending them? And <laughs> how did you feel like you did overall defensively? Well, size-wise, yeah. you know, I mean, they're substantially bigger than us. Um, you know, I thought that was going to be the challenge. I mean, the one thing we did well, they didn't have a ton of assists, but they, they were able to either, you know, bowl, bowl their way to the basket and shoot over the top of us. That was – Probably the biggest thing, and then them just getting a few offensive rebounds on free throws. You know, we're really usually a good rebounding team, and you know that was probably the difference in the game. Just their ability to 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 create their own shot, and then you know those few rebounds off of free throws, which gave them extra possessions. So I, you know, if you really look at the game, I mean, it was there's just a few things that we could have probably done a little bit better, but you know they're what fourth in the country. Is that what they are? Okay, nope. third? Okay. Wow, nice. Well, you know, and they're number one in the region, and they're there for a reason. And, uh, you know, you have to give them credit for making those plays. I mean, if, uh, if we're experienced in, in those areas and have the size, I would expect us to make those plays too. But good for them. You know, they did what they needed to do. Now, like Coach mentioned, only one, one senior on the roster, a lot of, lot of people coming back, um, got, a, got a big win in the NCAA tournament. How excited are you for kind of the, the future of Emerson Moore at basketball? I'm very excited, but like Coach said, she's a huge part of our team, and it's going to be an incredibly tough hole to fill. Um, I think we can do a really good job of coming in. I mean, Jackie really led us to no – we came in kind of timid, obviously, freshmen, but um, her and the other upperclassmen did a really good job of, like, welcoming us and um, – I think that will help us be able to grow, keep growing as um, individuals and be able to fill her spot. It'll be tough, but we have a couple um, incoming freshmen that are going to be really, um, really good too, so I think that'll help us also.